A couple of months ago, Kawasaki launched in India the Z1000, this one and the Ninja 1000, which is very similar to this motorcycle. Today I have this motorcycle with me and uh, let's start with the looks. It's a fantastic looking motorcycle. I don't think there is another motorcycle in the Indian market that looks this kind of spectacular. Everybody at Overdrive seems to agree that this belongs in the Transformer movie and that it's definitely on the Megatron side of things and not the Optimus Prime uh, side of things and that is going to jump off, jump up, turn into a robot and come try and kill you. Which actually describes the motorcycle pretty well because uh, in here is a 140 PS, 1050 CC inline 4. It's a very, very direct engine as far as throttle response is concerned and if you're not careful and you don't know what you're doing with it, this motorcycle will get you in trouble. Unfortunately, it does not get traction control, so this is about as much traction control as you've got. On the other hand, uh, the handling is really sharp. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the Ninja 1000, so it turns into corners really sharply, but uh, the ride quality is also quite stiff to match the sportiness. What I like about the ride quality though is that at low speeds, uh, say on city roads, there is just enough damping at the bottom to take all the harshness out. So you never forget that you are riding a really stiff motorcycle, but it's not harsh, you are not out of your seat constantly, although hit a bump hard enough, big enough and you will be out of the seat. Uh, so that's the uh, Z1000, it's 12.5 lakh rupees X showroom. Uh, we've also done a video with this, the Ninja 1000 and the Z800. Don't forget to watch that video. We had a lot of fun making it. And this is the Z1000, spectacular looking motorcycle, very aggressive, very hard uh, to ride and uh, you know, quickly on bad roads, but very, very interesting.